I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you are new to Hong Kong Mahjong, look for a link in the video description below. That way you can learn the fundamentals. Also download this player reference. This has all the scoring on the inside and it has instructions on the back for how to play the game. It's relatively simple. It's actually the easiest version to learn. It's similar to Remy. You need four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence, that is called a chow, three of a kind, that is called a pung, or you can have four of a kind, because there are four of every tile, and that is called a kong. So you need four sets and a pair. The combination overall will determine your score. That's where this comes in. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four We'll get 13 each. Then we're going to look at each player's hand and see where the strengths lie. For this game, we're going to play with a three fawn minimum. If you haven't downloaded this player reference yet, download it so you can follow along. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. For this player, we have two cracks, four bams, eight dots. They do have an extra tile because we start the play by discarding. So in essence, if we play a full flush, six fawn, we would have five discards. So six to start the game. I say, let's play a full flush. One suit. You can pung three of a kind or chow. We actually have a chow right there, two, three, four. But if we split it out, we have two potential chows. You need five blocks. Here's one, two, three, four. If we can get a couple more dots, we'll be in really good shape for a full flush. I think that's what I would do here. Pung, chow, chow, pung. All potential. I would start by discarding bams. That gives us time to sort of bluff. They'll think they're either playing cracks or dots. So we'll get rid of this since we're focusing on dots. If we draw honors, which are wins and dragons, we could downgrade to a half flush depending on how the drawing goes. Half flush is only three fawn, which meets the minimum. Let's see what we can do for player two, also known as south. Player one is east, east, south, west, north. So player two, south. South has one dot, four cracks, six mams, and two single honors. Honors are any combination of wins and dragons. Here we just have wins, and they're singles. Not helpful when you have number tiles two through eight. We have two pair chow potential. I think here I would play either all pung or half flush. Since we only have two pair, I probably would focus on bams. Keep the pair and see what comes in. If we pair up, play pungs. If we draw in bams, go for half flush. Bams with winds and dragons. So I probably would start by discarding the cracks, holding the pair. 
Let's see what we can do for player three, also known as West. Four dots, including a pair, three bams, four cracks, including a pair, a single south and a single white dragon. They're in a similar situation as this player. I would hold the pairs, discard the bams. We got to get to three fawn. Half flesh is three fawn. So is all pung. And you can mix suits with all pung. So let's discard bams, see if either dots or cracks come in. And if we pair up in either suit, we could play all pung. Let's see what we can do for player four, also known as North. They have flowers, a one flower, which is for East, and a four flower, which is their flower. So we're going to get score for that. One fawn already. All they need in here is two fawn. Let's get replacements. Two dots, three cracks, four bams. Single honors. We need two fawn because we have to have three fawn minimum. They have their flower, so we need two more. If we pair up any of these dragons, that would be a, a fawn each. Here we could chow chow. Here's chow, chow potential. We could do all chow, but that's only one fawn. We still need one more fawn. I think what I would do here is probably discard the eight crack. See if we can draw in bams and do a half flush. Because a one fawn chow hand is not going to cut it with only one flower. If we draw the other flower, that would meet our three fawn. So let's get rid of the eight crack first and just see what comes in. We're going to start by discarding for east one bam. I'm going to use this to mark whose turn it is. And incidentally, it's east round. We're going to draw because nobody can take the one bam. Well, technically this player could take it, but we would leave an isolated one. And we're still in between pungs and half flesh. One thing I've been told about chows is don't break a chow to make a chow. And I just want to take that a little further by saying, don't break a chow to make a chow if it leaves an isolated tile. So if we were to take that one bam and make a one, two, three, it would leave an isolated tile. I think we'd be better off to draw and see if we can get more bams or pair up one of the honors, especially this one, because this is south and that is their seat wind. We could get a fawn for that if we pair up and pung. So let's draw. We got a west. Good enough. They're on their way to a half flush. Or all pung if we get one more pair. Right now they have three pair. You really need four pair to commit to all pung. So they're a little light. Let's discard nine crack. We'll hold the six crack and discard these. Nine crack. Nobody wants it. Here we have an eight, nine. Seven, bam. Okay, same situation. Pair, pair, pair. One more pair, and we could maybe play all pung. We have an even number of all these tiles. This cannot bring any value. This could. Since we have so many tiles in each suit, four in each suit, I think in this case we should commit to all pung. Surely we'll pair up two more times. Right now we could pung here, here, and here. That's three blocks. Let's hold this for score, potentially, if we can pair it. Let's discard south. 
and this player's not ready for it. This is not a game where you can pick up a discard and hold it. When you claim a discard, you have to complete a block of three or four, or either a Chow, Pung, or Kong. So in this case, they only have one, so they're not ready for that. I'll have to let that go. So we're going to draw. They got another four flower. Look at that. So they have two fawn now, just with their flowers. We can play chows. All we need in here is a pair. So let's get rid of the honors. Let's get rid of the valued ones. Let's see. Actually, let's keep the valued ones. Maybe we'll pair up and pung. Who knows? Let's discard West. Oh, wait. Did I get a replacement tile for four? No, I need a replacement tile. Oops. A replacement tile. We got one. And we have a chow right there. Okay, let's throw West. I almost forgot to get a replacement tile for that player. That would have ruined their hand. They would have been short a tile. You can't win if you're short a tile, or over a tile for that matter. So West was discarded. We're going to draw, but this player can pung. Skip a turn, so we're gonna pung. And this would be for the player on the right. So we'll put that on the right. Oh, west. Let's see, that goes here. Okay, so we have a pung. We're trying for either all pung or half flush. So we're going to hold the six there. South was discarded. Let's go ahead and discard the south. There's only four of every tile. The chances of drawing that south is pretty slim. So south was discarded. Let's draw. Seven dot. We paired up again. Okay. One, two, three, four pair. Definitely all pung right here. So let's get rid of tiles that are out. Nine crack has been thrown. Let's discard that. We're gonna pung, 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 pung. All we need is a pair. Nine crack was thrown. Nobody can take it, we're gonna draw. Four bam. We need a pair in here, so that's a keeper. Potential chow, chow, isolated. Pair, potential chow, or potential chow. Either way, we need an eight or a five. So this probably could be discarded. Here we have one, two, three, four blocks. We're gonna need another chow or a chow in here. We need another chow. So maybe what we could do is chow this and this and be waiting on a pair with these. One, two, three, four, and then a pair. There's our five blocks. We really don't need these for all chow. You can use one of these for a pair but if you pung a dragon or a wind with all your chows, that is no longer called all chow. That would be a chicken hand if you have no valued honors. But here, if we did a pung of dragons, then the value would be with the pung of dragons and these would mean nothing. So let's go for all chow for our one fawn. Since we have two flowers for this seat, we're good to go with those two fawn right there. So let's discard red dragon. Let's see, four, 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 one. All right, we have what we need. We're gonna chow. We're playing all chow here. There's a chow right there. You can only chow from a discard from the player on your left. Pungs you can take from anybody. So now we are going to draw for east. We got a north. Okay, that could help with a half flush. Let's discard three bam. Here, we can't, we could take it actually for maybe half flush. 
And here we actually have a chow, one, two, three. But if we break that to make a chow, we're still leaving a potential chow because we can use the three here. Break a chow to make a chow, leaving a tile that you can use elsewhere. So in that case, let's take it. We're gonna chow. So we're gonna commit to a half flesh. We have two more potential chows. We need bams or honors because we're, get, we're short a block right now. We still need a pair in there. But I think chances are good that they'll draw another bam or honor. Let's discard six dot. Six dot, you cannot chow from the player on your right. They could technically chow, but only from this player, not from this player. So six dot was discarded, nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Red dragon, that was already discarded and we have our pairs. All we need in here is another pair. This though could bring potential score. Let's see if anything is out. Nothing is out. Let's not risk it. There's only four of every tile. Let's discard the red dragon. And here we can draw west. That is out in a pung. Drawing for east. We got a keeper. Four dot. Very nice. We're discard six bam. And nobody can take it. We have a pair of sevens here. We need, we need to chow in here. So Let's draw one crack. That's the wrong suit. One crack. Nobody can take it. Five crack. We need score in here. We need to pair up. We have one, two, three, four pair. We need a pair in here. Or, yeah, another pair to give us another potential pung. So none of these tiles are out right now. And the white dragon could bring score if we can pair up and pung. So let's, let's discard three bam. Three bam, nobody can take it. We need a five bam and an eight bam and a three dot. We got a seven crack. That's that could be helpful. We could do six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine, and use this as a pair instead. So that was actually a good pick. One, two, three, four, five blocks. We have everything we need. We just have to fill them in. Let's discard green dragon. White dragon. That could bring value if we pair up and pung. Let's discard nine bam. Nine bam, nobody can take it, so we'll draw. South, that could help with half flush. There are two souths out, but it still has the potential to pair up, though slim. Let's discard three crack. Nobody can take the three crack. Two crack. This is just as good as any for discard. Two crack. None of those are out and none of these are out either. Let's draw. Eight bam, we got a keeper. Eight bam right there, seven, eight, nine, chow. Here's a chow. We need to chow here and here, there's our pair. Let's go ahead and get rid of the white dragon. That can be a discard. We need to chow and chow here. White dragon, these are singles, so they can't take that single white dragon. We're going to draw. Two dot, wow. They have some good potential for a full flush. One, two, three, four pair. 
Let's discard four crack. Probably should have discarded this white dragon. That's all right. It'll come. Let's draw. We got a bam. Look at that. And there's a chow either there or here. We'll put it in order though. Because we can use it either way. We're going to sacrifice the offsuit pair. Six crack. Last tile, second wall. They got a dot. They still need to pair up. Let's discard white dragon. It'll be this player's turn. We're going into the middle game now. Everybody should know where they're getting their score. East is going for a full flush, six fawn. South is playing half flush, three fawn. West is playing all pung, mixed suits for three fawn. North is playing all chow, one fawn, but they have two of their own flowers. So that's three fawn. Nine dot, we don't need that. It's an edge tile too, not flexible. Let's discard it. Nine dot, nobody can take it. Down here, we're going to draw. Eight bam, wrong suit. Drawing for south. Six bam, we got a keeper. Let's discard six crack. And we are cleared to a half flesh. So here we have a pair and two potential chows. Or we could say that's a chow. And then this is a potential chow. Or there's a chow and a potential chow. Leaving us with the need for a pair still. There are two souths out. We're probably going to discard that unless we pair up by drawing. Let's draw. Oh, here. Let's pung. Pung. So this is the player on our left. So we'll turn the tile on the left. Okay, now, eight bam was thrown recently. Let's discard that. We need a pair in here still. Eight bam. We have a chow. Seven, eight, nine. This would be where that strategy comes in, don't break a chow to make a chow, because that would leave an isolated tile. If we took that seven, eight, oh look, it actually wouldn't. Seven, eight, nine, it would leave a chow potential, but we still have to discard. Here we have a closed weight, we need a three in the middle. Here we have a side weight where we need a six or a nine, that's the strongest. And here's another closed weight. I don't think I would take it. I think I would rather draw. I, I would rather draw. Not And right now we're concealed. If you're concealed, you can get score for that too. All concealed is one fawn. So let's try to stay concealed. If we can draw it, why not? Five bam. Okay. So we've got to make a choice now. One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, pair. Five, six, seven, or seven, eight, nine, side weight. Let's get rid of the closed weight. We'll discard two dot. So if you can improve your weights, do it. A side weight is better than a closed weight. We really even have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We just need one more chow or a pair and we'll be ready to win on a concealed chow hand. So two dot was thrown down here. We could take it for a pung. Let's do, let's pung. We could even chow if we want to right here uh, with a one, two, three. We, d we are left with lots of chow potential. But we do have the potential here for all pung 
and a full flesh. Let's see, one, two, three, four pair. We have the potential for all pung full flesh. That would be nine fawn. Because all pung is three, full flesh is six. So let's pung. Five crack. We're going to try for full flesh all pung, maybe. Five crack. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw. Nine bam. Let's get rid of that south. There are two out. Drawing four west. Whoops. North. Let's discard north. I think number tiles are easier to come by. We still need a pair in there. Let's draw. Five crack. We could do a five, six, seven, but that's a closed weight. Here is a side weight. Let's just hold that and get rid of the four dot. Four dot down here. Let's pung. We'll discard north. Drawing for south, seven dot. Here, we'll pung. Let's see here. Pung. So now we need to look and see what's out. Two dot is out in a pung. Look at exposures and discards to figure out what to discard. Five crack is out. Five crack might be a good discard next. Okay, so we threw a two dot. Nobody can take it, so we're going to draw one crack. Well, there's a pair. Potential chow. Side weight, two, three. Let's get rid of this five. Five crack. They're very close. They're one away from ready. And they're concealed. Five crack. Let's draw. Four crack. They're not ready and you cannot chow from the player on your right. We're going to draw. Two bam. Oh, ho, ho. okay. Chow. Chow, we need a good pair tile in here. Two, three, four, four, five, six, six or nine. One of each is out. We have a six. There's one nine bam out. Let's discard six bam and we're ready to win on a nine bam for half flush. Six bam. Nobody can take it, so we'll draw. Green dragon. Seven dot, that's out in a pung. Eight crack. Green dragon. Nine dot. Let's get rid of this five crack. Six dot. Nobody can take it. Green dragon. That's been thrown. Drawing for south. North. That is out. West. Five bam. We want to pair up. So let's see what's up. Six dot was just thrown. Let's discard that. We still need to pung and pair up. Six dot, nobody can take, we're gonna draw. Flower. Four 
four dot. Nobody can take it. Well, this player could actually. Let's take it. We're getting to the middle of the middle game, so let's give up on all Pung and try to get a win for all one suit, full flush. So North discarded. We'll discard White Dragon. And they're ready on what's called a double weight where you can win on either one of these. One of these will be a Pung and the other will be a pair. So White Dragon was discarded, we'll draw. One bam, one, two, three, pair, five, six, side weight, or single weight, four bam, none are out. One nine bam is out, let's discard that. Nine bam, they're not ready here. We'll draw. Nine crack, that's out. Okay, here we could chow. If we chow and discard one crack, we'll be ready on a four bam or a seven bam. Let's chow. Escalate the process. Or, you know what we could do? Let's see. No, I think that was a good plan. Discard the one. Pair. Potential chow side weight. Seven, eight, nine. Or single weight with the four. Four bam or seven bam for a win. One. Crack, drawing four, east, seven crack, one bam, okay, pair, chow, chow, self pick, mahjong, half flush. When you have chows, keep them in order so you can see how they can be used. Here we used it. It was in a chow, but we paired up, and then you can kind of move things around to make it work. Pair, chow, chow. Self-pick. Whoops. We'll put it like that for self-pick. Self-pick, half flesh, no flowers. So that's five, five fawn. Wait a minute. You get paid double for being for having a self pick. So it's half flesh, no flowers. So that's four. Four fawn, double from everybody. So everybody pays, let's see here, four fawn, everybody pays 16. This player was ready on a double weight, but they were blocked here for the one. The eight could have come in though. This player was one away. They still needed to pair, or they were two away. They needed to pung and pair up. This player was ready to win on a side weight, either a four or a seven, but their seven was blocked right here. There's still one left in the wall though.
Hong Kong Mahjong is a lot of fun to play. And it's a bit exotic, playing with tiles instead of cards. So for your next party, teach people how to play Hong Kong Mahjong. It'd be a great conversation piece. And a lot of fun for any subsequent parties that you might have. You can teach people how to play in about 15 minutes. Look for a link in the video description below for a lesson playlist. If you follow that methodology, they'll learn really quick. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.